Hi, first grade. Welcome back to our phonemic awareness sound warm up. This is day four, which is actually our last day of our phonemic awareness warm up for this week. So we're going to get started with our sound cards. We're going to do a very quick sound card warm up today, and then we'll jump right into the same exercises that we've had the rest of the week. All right, so here we go. P, R, or, ch, k, a, u, u, b, er, a, o. J, er, whoops, u, a, a. Very nice. Okay, so for our rhyming exercise, I'm going to say which word rhymes with and then I'll say a word. Then I'll give you two choices, this one or this one, and then you'll tell me which one rhymes, okay? Here we go. Which word rhymes with dirt? Hurt, door, hurt. Which word rhymes with shark? Park, ship, park. Which word rhymes with course? Cost, horse. Horse. Which word rhymes with sir? Her, sore, her. Which word rhymes with arm? Mark, farm, farm. Which word rhymes with nerve? Serve, next, serve. Which word rhymes with bird? Word, board, word. Which word rhymes with fort? Form, sort. Good, sort rhymes with fort. Nice work. Okay, for the next activity, I will say a word, you repeat the word, then tell me the beginning sound. Here we go. Now the beginning sound will be either a blend or a digraph, one of those two. Prove, pr, shirt. Sh, swerve, sw, brave, br, spur, sp, cheer, ch, groan, gr, thorny, f, drive, dr, frame, fr, very good. Okay, so now this exercise, I'm going to chop it up and you are going to blend it together to tell me the whole word. Here I go. Scarf, scarf, the earth is versus charm, charm, m or n, mourn, g r d n garden d er t e dirty sp er t spurt t e ch er z teachers t or ch torch t er t o turtle very nice all right so this week so far, we've been punching up the final sounds in words. Instead of doing that today, we're going to be punching out the middle sounds in the words. And all of those middle sounds are going to be our controlled vowels. So for example, if I say short, you would say short. Did you see how I punched up in the middle sound? So watch. You would say short. Or it, like that, 
okay? If I say tarp, you would say, oh wait, you know what? We're not going to do the punch. We're gonna do something different. Are you ready? We're gonna do a roller coaster. I wanna spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit more exciting, okay? It's gonna be a little fun today. So, here's my roller coaster, okay? Instead of punching up the middle sound, since we did that, that's old news for us. Instead of punching up the middle sound, we're gonna do a roller coaster, and when the roller coaster gets high, that'll be the middle sound. So this will be the beginning sound, this will be the middle sound, and then this will be the ending sound, okay? So watch. Short you would go short, okay? Let's try the next one. Tarp, tarp, hurt, hurt, corn, corn, first, first, learn, learn, germ, J -erm. smart, smart, turn, t -erm. dorm, d -orm. Very good. All right, we had a little fun with that. So now, next exercise, I'm going to say a word. You repeat the word after me, then chop it up. Here we go. Northern, n or the er n, worst, w er st, curve, k er n, barnyard, b r n y r d, good, clerk, k u er k, board, b or d. Shortest, short est, suburb, suburb, barge, barge, hearts, art, very nice. All right, so now I'm going to say a word, repeat the word after me, then I'm going to change the beginning sound to a different beginning sound and you'll tell me the new word. Here we go. Say fern. Change f to st, and the word is stern. Say stern. Change st to b, and the word is burn. Say burn. Change b to t, and the word is turn. Say turn. Change t to ch, and the word is churn. Say churn. Change ch to u, and the word is learn. Say learn. Change u to sp, and the word is spurn. Say bird. Change b to f, and the word is third. Say third. Change th to w, and the word is word. Say word. Change w to st, and the word is stirred. Say stirred. Change st to h, and the word is heard. Very nice job. All right, last two exercises for today. For the first one, I'm going to say a word part, then I'm going to add a sound to the end, and you're going to clap it together to tell me the whole word. All right, here we go. Say char. Add j at the end, and the word is charge. Say sure. Add t at the end, and the word is shirt. Say four. Add k to the end, and the word is fork. Say bar. Add n at the end, and the word is barn. Say store. Add E at the end, and the word is story. Say were. Add st at the end, and the word is worst. Say her. Add d at the end, and the word is heard. Say sure. 
add t at the end, and the word is short. Say clove. Add er at the end, and the word is clover. Say sore. Add s at the end, and the word is source. Nice. Okay. Now, last exercise, I will say a word. Repeat the word after me. Then I'm going to say without, and I'll take away this ending sound. What's left? And you'll tell me what's left. You got it? Get it? Got it? Good. Okay. Say storm. Without mm, what's left? Store. Say cart. Without t, what's left? Car. Say letter. Without er, what's left? Let. Say first. Without st, what's left? Fur. Say porch. Without ch, what's left? Poor. Say stark. Without k, what's left? Star. Say snort. Without t, what's left? Snore. Say farm. Without m, what's left? Far. Say hurt. Without t, what's left? Her. Say north. Without th, what's left? Nor. Very good job. You did an excellent job today, first graders, and this week. Believe it or not, it's already Friday, so you are ready for the weekend for a couple of days off. And then I will see you back next week. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you can get outside a little bit if the weather allows for that. And if your parents are okay with it, to get some fresh air. Um, I know that I'm going to do that if I can get um, outside to maybe take a walk or um, sit around um, in front of my house just to get some fresh air and have a little break from everything. So I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you guys back on Monday. I miss you guys. See you later.